Hey guys, how y'all doing today? Tao here at Alien Track 50 and welcome back to another Bloom Steve Battles video. This is a special Bloom Steve Battles video because modding has been taken to new heights. Seen stuff in this video we've never seen before. We've seen new maps, we've seen new towers, we've seen new balloons, but we have not seen new blimps. And by new blimps, I mean blimps that have kind of already been in the game, but not in battle specifically. So what happens when the balloon Ares comes to BT Battles? Well, it gets his axe kicked by some ground semen, but the ground semen's OP, so we're gonna ignore that one for now. Yeah, the balloon Arius has been added to the mod alongside the DDT, which I think is a bit uh, more of a highlight for this. It's pretty fucking dope. DDTs are really cool. Can't unlock them yet, but I'll just talk about the unlocks really quick. So, balloon Arius, it uh, replaces the BFB, I guess, and you can unlock on around 22. It's thick. It's kind of slow, and it drops a couple more, so it's like a BFB, but, you know, thicker. And there's also fast cooldown balloon areas that come out on round 24, and they cost, like, a thousand more. It's comparable to ZMG price, actually. 10,000 for fast cooldown, 9,000 for space. So very reasonable, probably considering its health, because it actually does have a fuck ton of health. It's not too noticeable right now, but it'll get more insane as it goes on. More balloon areas is coming in. Round 28 rush coming in from ISAB. He's got you know, a bunch of farms so he can start funding that rush. Oh, but not just one balloon areas, two balloon areas. That one's gonna plow right through them, them glue vials and actually take them all out. All the poppable ones. We gotta actually drop more glue. And he's gonna come in with more like fast cooldown balloon areas. Oh shit. Uh, real quick though, DDT still have not been unlocked yet. You cannot send up until round 30. They cost like 21,000 each, and there's like three of them. So yeah, there's there's a lot to the DDT. We'll be seeing that shortly though. Those balloon areas is just gonna be absolutely destroyed by my glue. Oh, maybe not. Balloons are getting actually getting pretty far. We gotta have some uh, help from the other towers, like the uh, new uh, boomerang and new engineer. Yeah, there we go, DDT sends. But here's the thing about DDTs. For those who don't know what it is, it has the health of a mod, but, but like fast, it goes faster than a pink, which is insane. However, around 30, you're generally prepared for it. There's other difficulties to it as well. It has camel properties, it has lead properties, and has black balloon properties. So if you have like 00 dart monkeys under a 02 village, yeah, it's not gonna pop it because 00 dart monkeys can't, can't pop lead. It uh, also can't be popped by just straight up bomb towers because bomb towers can't pop black balloons unless you upgrade it like special upgrades. So yeah, also, DDTs come from the normal freaking pass. We're going to have to take on AI DDTs and ISAP's insane Blue Arius Rush. He is going ham on this one. We have seen <coughs> like seven or eight so far. Like, holy shit, they just keep coming. And they're actually making serious damage to our glue piles at the bottom to see like the mobs aren't just straight up popping anymore. They're just like, sometimes, like, you see the blooms getting through, but the mobs are just, like, chilling over. It's pretty dope, but the glue is still being put to use, though, because it does slow down the balloon areas, and it slows down the mobs. It's, like, half speed, which is honestly pretty overpowered. The glue factory is seriously broken in this. Like, this is, this is why glue shouldn't affect mobs, man. It's seriously overpowered. Just imagine that being in the actual game, huh? But it's okay, he's gonna keep coming with these more brushes. And there's some balloons making a really far surprise, motherfucker. He almost got some lives on me, but we did boost. We actually used our last energy. Our first couple energies were earlier in the game. I didn't really show it, because there's no DDTs and no balloon areases. Yes, I guess there's new towers, but I can talk about that eventually. I don't know if I want to reserve another video for it. We are gonna keep watching the insane balloon areas just keep getting stopped. Massive hyper clumps to like Moabs too, just getting stopped. But here comes the DDTs. They're faster, they're stronger, and there's so much more of them. I'm destroying them pretty well, but I said struggling. He may be dying. His bug is and uh, flamethrowers just do not seem to have the firepower, and he's gonna die. All right. Easy game. That, that was a pretty quick one, actually. Let's see if we can take this even later. We're on Swamp right now. And we came prepared with some, a decent loadout. Got a new tower here, actually. I don't know if you noticed, but the Monkey Ace is actually different. It's not a normal ace with, like, Ground Zero. It is seriously intense and overpowered. You'll see shortly that it, it can get ramped up to do some major freaking damage. I said we got the Monkey Ace over to his side, too, because it's pretty strong. He's also got the... Golly grape mm, grape shooter and ice tower I guess to slow the balloons down because DDT is terrifying the speed so I remember on balloons monkey city like probably the most hard aspect about the DDT was that it just went so fast 
you would have maybe five, six seconds to pop up before it goes across the map. That's really about the same for battles. So I guess it's kind of fair that you unlock it on round 30. It could use a couple rounds earlier, just considering some of these uh, towers and san sanity. Also, speaking of insanity, the mobs are making it really far, and they're cock blocking the shots from that balloon Arius. That's the real threat right now. That guy is just beefing around the track. I gotta buy a bunch of monkey aces and just he keep them going. By the way, all these monkey aces, they're actually firing Moab Maulers. They're firing quad Moab Maulers at ins insane speeds, and it still takes that long to take out the balloon Arius. Honestly ridiculous. Holy, holy bejesus. That guy, that guy is beefy. He had a lot for dinner, if I say so myself. So we're gonna keep farming though. Even though it's beefy, it only made it around about a third, maybe a half of the map. So we're, we're just gonna keep farming because we need that cash money. Yeah, yeah, I said I'm sending a DDT, but that, that actually fares worse because the Monkey Ace, they're not going to miss that fast tower, and it's still relatively low in health. Like, it's, an, it's equivalent to a Moi, but it's not the biggest thing in the world. It, the biggest is my dick. <laughs> oh, God. Um, all right, yeah, round 32, we're going to see a lot more Lunaris, so it's time to whip out the other towers. We got the Engineers, which we can upgrade to get Super Funky Laser Club, which we're going to need against the DDTs, and Massive Club of Lunaris. Look at this shit. Oh, I said side struggling a bit, too. He's got an energy. Those DDTs are making serious rounds. I'm getting some lines on him. But it looks like with the Battle Energy and the Ice Tower, it looks like he's able to take that out. And I don't know if you guys saw my side. But there were a bunch of balloon areas there. Now they are gone. Just like that. What happened? I don't know. Well, it turns out the ability for the monkey ace is the most broken thing in this broken ass mod I have ever seen in my life. It makes all the aces, every single ace, one ability it makes every single ace shoot out massive pineapples for, I don't know, God knows how long, 15, 10 seconds? Probably 15. And uh, I I don't know the specifics of it, but it fucking hurts the balloons. It almost one shots balloon Ariuses, like it's kind of ridiculous. But uh, yeah, it's, it's something we're gonna need to be able to take down all that stuff, you know? Because <coughs> I mean, the uh, Laser Monkey Fan Club seems to be holding off well against we mobs, but DDTs seem to maybe make some rounds on it. All right, they've only they made it close to halfway around the map, making some progress. Making some progress. There's only so much lasers can do. ICEP seems to be handling things over there pretty well. But they are getting faster and faster and faster with every round. Making it harder and harder and harder to defend. So we gotta actually start whipping out these abilities because otherwise we're gonna die. Sometimes we may not be able to react fast enough to, uh, you know, get the ability and pop the DDT. Like, imagine that. It just goes so fast. You, like, try to react and it's just too late. That would be awful. Yeah, so I'm going to drop a bunch of balloons on the ISAP side, see if that does anything. I got a lot of spare money. It looks like he's just destroying with ease that pineapple ice, like I said. And, of course, Godly Great putting a little work right there. Uh, kind of, I mean, not really. It's, it's it's fun to watch, though. A giant freaking grape just float around the track. ISAP is really, really clenching his asshole right now. The balloons got four-fifths of the way around the track. The DDT is dead. They're getting stronger. They're getting faster. However, I'm... Almost positive the balloon aerases are not really ramping. Like, we're noticing the DDTs, they're getting stronger, they're getting faster and harder to pop just in general. However, I don't think the balloon aerases are any harder than they were, because I feel like ZOMGs at this point in the game take forever to pop, even if you do have these overpowered towers, and the balloon aerases are just being taken down. Uh, something I should clarify, by the way, in the uh, Balloons Monkey City, the balloon aerias randomly, like, drops balloons as it goes along. Yeah, uh, they couldn't actually get that to be coded in into the mod. That would be an impressive uh, feat of engineering if they did, but they only have so much to work with. They don't have, like, the actual source code. They just have, like, a few things they can modify, so they have to work within limitations. Anyways, speaking of limitations, well, no, this is anything to do with limitations, but I have almost died. That would have been bad. That would have been a limitation to this video. Then it could be over 10 minutes and get that revenue. Haha, <laughs> sell it, by the way. Anyways, uh, we, <laughs> we're still taking out balloons that come round 41. And as every round goes by, the suspicion increases that we actually may not have uh, ramping balloons. Or ramping balloon aerases. The DDTs are pretty much the major threat right now. I gotta constantly be activating these monkey fan clubs. Still watching them get four fists away across the map. And then panicking and pressing the pineapple ace ability. Because, yeah, those DDTs are some fast motherfuckers. I gotta say, uh, I wonder... Is some of my upgrades actually don't do damage against black balloons, so the DDT would be immune to it? I don't know. That'd be interesting, I guess. 
What's kind of weird about the uh, the DDT modded here, though, technically you can actually send it without camo properties. You actually have to check the camo button for it to send with camo properties. It does not increase the price for some reason because uh, I guess that's just uh, how Moab glass spoons work. If you have it, uh, if you have the camo checked and you send to Moab, like generally it doesn't make a difference, so they don't increase the price. But it actually does add a camo detection onto the DDT. I think it's reasonable though because well. DDTs are supposed to have camo anyway, so it's not like that should be an extra bonus feature. Blue Aries are also supposed to have beef, but uh, I didn't see no meat on them bones. They uh, just falling apart pretty easily. Meanwhile, single DDTs are making further than these uh, behemoths. Honestly, ridiculous. Ice Hab's got quite the setup over there. He's got how many ice towers? He's got like six of them, so he can almost constantly kind of slow down balloons. Maybe a bit more. He's he's still buying more. I I guess he's got eight now and probably getting more. Got a lot of godly grapes that you see flying around the maps, and of course the monkey aces. I'm just mainly going monkey aces and uh, lazy monkey fan clubs. Freaking! I I definitely cannot go for the wizard wizard. Uh, yeah, it's just not that powerful late game. It, it's a good, decent early game starting tower now. It used to be one of the worst towers in this mod. However, they buffed the prices. This is a bit more reasonable. I think it's a effective but not completely broken starting tower. So I like using that. And uh, we're also gonna try to rush I said with some secret rush. There's actually more balloon changes in this mod besides the balloon Aries and the DDT. There are hyper clumped ceramics. That's the ceramic with a five under it, uh, right next to the Moabs, like uh, bottom or to the right of the bottommost Moab and to the you know below the topmost Moab, you know, in the balloon send screen. <laughs> you send five ceramics, but they're clumped together like round 32, so you can send an insane amount of ceramics. And that is actually something I think would be super cool for the game. I'm glad to see it in the mod. You're not really gonna put it to use here because I realized it a bit too late. Holy shit, that DDT almost leaked. They are getting fast. It's round 54. We're going for the hashtag epic late game but boys, hold my D! Balloons are getting far. Abilities have to be activated. To be honest, we're not paying full attention. I think we're like uh, I'm talking in Skype or something. In the meantime, we don't realize how close that DDT got to the exit. Just trying to uh, keep you guys in suspense. Got to keep this game interesting because the balloon areas is sure aren't helping. Uh, no, but yeah, but the hypercomb ceramics, they're pretty cool. They might keep, come in useful eventually. But they're not going to come in useful here at round 58. Hell no, that's where we got all our abilities. All the Laser Monkey Fan Club and the Ice Tower and the Godly Grape and the Pineapple Ace just carrying everything. There may actually be some ramping. Couldn't tell. Ice just dies though. I didn't see it. Probably died to a DDT. I guess it happens. He uh, was victimized by the super fast movement, super strong camo blimp. And that just got him in the end. So there you go. DDTs and balloon Ariuses. Uh, next, uh, next time we play with them, I think we'll double check to make sure the mod we have actually includes balloon ramping. I believe that actually got fixed since we played this game, so hype for that. That'll be dope. So yeah, thanks again for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, I'm a little bit sick today, but assuming things get better in a couple hours, I'll be hosting a live stream, so I hope to see you guys there. Just stick around. Uh, I'll keep you guys updated, and uh, yeah, peace out.